Okay, I'm Russell French. I'm a strategic account manager in uh, CU1, and I want to visit with you today about arrested ear syndrome and what could happen. So what we want to look at, this corn here is just beginning to tassel. It's just, uh, we would call it uh, a pre-tassel stage like B14 to B16. And what we look for here is this little ear shoot. So if you see this little ear shoot down here in the leaf collar, this is the, this is the primary ear coming out. This is a very critical time. We want to make sure that we do not use any non-ionic surfactants in any insecticide or fungicide application. Because non-ionic surfactant, it'll, it'll get on the leaf, and then when we irrigate or have a rain event, it'll wash the non-ionic surfactant down on the little ear shoot and cause arrested ear syndrome. So it's very critical at this time, if you're doing an application of an insecticide or miticide or fungicide, that uh, you know you do not, you only use products that uh, the label adjuvants for that particular situation. And we never ever want to use non-ionic surfactant at this time. So, and, uh, and sometimes when you're mixing together two things, if you're doing an insecticide and a fungicide, a lot of times we would recommend not even using any adjuvants because of the risk of having this uh, arrested ear syndrome. So pay attention to your growth stage uh, when you're applying and uh, just make sure that you avoid anything that will cause arrested ear, ear syndrome.